Hi, I'm Terrence Lennon of Ivory Key Productions with a continuing video tutorial on Contact 4. Today's focus will be on the group panel and its features. Although not exhaustive, I will explain and demonstrate the use and purpose of each feature. To begin, let us create a new instrument. Click on the wrench to open the instrument for editing. The green panel at the top of the instrument is our main focus. This is called the group panel. Press on the mapping editor and this will expose the editing area for the zones. For this tutorial I will build a drum kit from the single hit samples in my personal library. First, let us expand the work area by pressing the plus button in the mapping editor. We will place our first sample on C1. Go to your library and select the samples you wish to use. As you drag your sample into the mapping area, the higher you drag your mouse, the wider the zone will be. The lower you drag your mouse, the narrower the zone will be. We have mapped our kit pieces in accordance to the standards of most of the commercially available sample kit libraries on the market. Click on the group editor button to open the group editor area. In the group editor you will see the single default group that was created with the instrument. All zones are placed in that group by default. To get a different perspective, click on the list view in the mapping editor and you will see that the samples are all contained within that group and here are their respective zone information. What this means is that any zone in the group that's selected, noted here by the checkbox, will be modified by any changes to the source, the group insert effect strip, or amplifier. For instance, if I were to modify the tune of the group, you note here that all the samples that are in that group are being modified. Often, this is not desirable. Any zone that you would like a particular effect on, you need to separate it from that group. Let's insert an effect on our snare drum on D1. Select the zone, and from the Edit drop down menu, you will see five methods of creating new groups. Move Zone to New Group creates a new group with all the default settings and parameters for the group. Move Zone to a clone group will copy all of the settings and insert effects from the group that you're copying from to the new group. Move to an existing group will list all groups that are available for you to copy to. Move each to its own empty group would move a group of selected zones into its own group and move each zone to its own group clone would copy any effect and parameter to the new group for the zones. Let's now move zone to new group. Disable the edit all groups button in the group edit screen. You will note here that the edit all groups button at the instrument header has also been disabled. Select the group that we want to insert the effect on and change the view to the list view to see what has happened. You will see now our D1 zone has moved to the new empty group. At this time, for clarity, it's best that you go and rename this group. Now we will insert an effect solely on that group. Let's insert a distortion effect for our snare group. 
you will notice upon playing the snare at D1 now has a distortion unit on it. However, the kick does not. Enabling the select zone via MIDI will change zones as you play your MIDI keyboard controller. There is no distortion unit on the kick or any of the hi-hats. Let me point out that when we move the snare zone from the default group that its sample mode changed from direct from disk to sampler. Let me show you another way to move zones to new groups. Let's switch to list view and select the zone where the kick sample is located. From the edit drop down menu, select auto map setup. The auto map setup uses file name tokens to perform certain tasks. One of these special tasks is to move to new zone. All of the file names are Amadeus single, then the name of the kit piece. We would like to create a new zone using the last token. Select the drop down box and select make group name. Press apply. You see that the kick has a new group called kick and has moved it to that zone. Now all subsequent selections such as the hi-hat we can use the auto map button here. It will create a zone and call it closed hi-hat and move that zone to that group. Select the next zone press auto. Next one auto until all of your samples and zones have been moved to their unique named group. This does not work in batch mode. Unfortunately you'd have to do it one by one. Now you can simply process each kick piece separately in the group panel using inserts, affect its tuning, the pan, or volume, and any other parameters such as the modulation, tracking, or other features. This concludes part one of my tutorial on Contact 4's group panel. This is Terrence Lennon of Ivory Key Productions. I'll see you soon.